Hey my friends, what's going on? It's your boy Gator on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friends. So pound that for watching this video. Pow! So guys, in today's video, guys, I want to talk about how to improve your financial results. People have been asking me, hey Gator, how can I take myself to the next level? How can I improve my financial results? And you know, at the same time, there's someone told me the other day, Gator, why improving at all? If we all born, we're gonna die and everything share the same fate. We are gonna die everything, you know? Expectation leads to misery. Why do we need to strive for greatness? Why should we grow and improve ourselves, improve our finances if everything is gonna die, is gonna finish one day? Why not just live a life and just see what happens? And if you enjoyed this video but haven't subscribed, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Now, the problem with this, with living a life and see what happened, if you was to use that same mindset in everything in life, we wouldn't have light. Well, the sun is original from God, right? We would have that, but we wouldn't have light at nighttime. Thomas Edison wouldn't go to um, and, and invent a light, you know? We wouldn't have technology. We'll still be riding horses. We wouldn't have a car. If we, if life is not about improving and get yourself to the next level, there's so much more. We, if everybody adapt that mentality that says that, hey, why not just see where life goes? Why not just live a life without trying to improve, without trying to be better, without trying to improve our financial results, without trying to improve our health, without trying to improve everything in our life? What would happen if we're just gonna see? We'll still be back in the stone age. We'll still be having you know, to use, um, to, to discover light. We'll still be in the rocky age of not understanding that put a house together, a building and all that stuff that we create. So that's why you always have to see the mindset of improving. How can I get myself to the next level? If you someone right now, you already felt like, man, I don't need to improve anymore. I've already done, I'm done living my life. I don't need to grow anymore. You know, you should visit a website called planyourfuneral.com. Because that's it. Because a lot of people, what happened is that they bury themselves. They bury them at 70, but they've been dead. They haven't been improving. They haven't been growing. They, they haven't been doing anything to consciously try to grow. See, one thing you're going to realize, even living on this planet, it's all about growing. Because even if you consciously do not choose to grow, guess what? unconsciously life is gonna throw different challenges at you because there's one thing that, that is certain is change change is always about to happen and guess what when change happens in your life it's gonna forces you to either grow or change or, or, or it will flat out kill you and put you in a in a way that you you didn't want to be so the reason I'm making this video is guys is because I want to help people grow. I want to help people take their life to the next level because if you're not growing, you are dying. There's no such thing as, hey, you know, um, I'm just going to stay on cruise. I'm just going to cruise for now. You know, there's nothing wrong with living the life, expecting nothing. But guess what? That's the type of life you're going to get. Nothing. If you live your whole life and expecting nothing, you're going to get the life of nothing. You know, people ask me all the time. What is the meaning of life? What well, the real question is, what is the meaning of your life? You got to know the meaning of your life. What are you here for? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to improve your life to get? Where are you trying to get? You know, getting financial freedom is not only for the freedom that matters. It's the process. A lot of the time people ask me, yo, Cater, you know, financial freedom, why get there? You know? The thing is, the reason you want to improve your finances to get financial, uh, uh, better financial results is that it gives you financial freedom because what's going to happen in the process of becoming financially free, Jim Rohn says something of that matter, you know, you don't want to become a millionaire talking about income wise, results wise, you know, for the income, but for the person that you will become because in the process of building that million dollar business, what's going to happen? You're going to overcome fear. You're going to overcome anxiety. You're going to um, learn how to build relationship with people. You're going to learn new skill set. You're going to have new insights. You're going to meet a whole different criteria of problems which you have to overcome is going to strengthen your mind it's going to help you and when you fall you're going to need to create the the backbone to get back up so all this character building 
that's the process of growing. When you take it upon yourself to improve your life, you're gonna go through all this process of growing and that's gonna build different characters inside of you. So let's talk about the five secrets to improve your financial condition. Secret number one, you must have ambition. Now there's a big difference between ambition and desire. Now a desire is most people have desire for life to be better. I desire this, I want this, it's just wants. Everybody has desire. Now ambition is where you want something and you're willing to put in the work. See, ambitions is purpose, time, work. It's desire, purpose, time, work. Because in order for you to get to that goal, when you're ambitious, you're gonna find yourself working to get there. Many people have desire, but not too many people have ambition. So the big difference is you gotta work. Um, I have a friend of mine who works a regular job and he's been telling me, yo, Cater, I really wanna quit my job. I really wanna build a business. I really wanna do something that's gonna help me have my freedom because I wanna spend time with my wife. Um, you know, I want my life to be different. I don't wanna have to slave away just for money. How can I do things differently? And the desire has been there for years. Every time I get around him, it's always that saying. I don't know if you have people like that, if you know people that way. They see what you do or they you're striving for greatness and they see what you're doing, but they have the desire, which is great, but it doesn't stay there. Hey, I would love to do what you do. That's a desire. You must have the ambition to go put in the work every single day. It's gonna take you work every day. If you go and put in the work, you have ambition, you have a goal, a purpose, purpose times work every single day because the work has to happen every day. That's gonna get you to your current desire and that's, that's gonna happen with true ambition. So that's gonna be the number one secret that you need to actually grow to take yourself, you know, to take yourself to get better financial results. The second one you're gonna need is skill set. Now you can't deny this. Living in a world, guys, you can build skill set. We have access to information. Years prior to today, you would have to go to a library. You have to get a book. You would have to know people that know people in order for you to get certain information, in order for you to see certain results. But now, because of the help of the internet, YouTube, Google, um, Facebook, and all this communication line that gives you information, access to so much information, so you are not deprived of information. We are all deprived of transformation. How can I use that information that I'm getting right now from this video, from YouTube, from Facebook, to build certain type of skill set in a specific niche in order for me to grow? So if you want to improve your financial results, you have to concentrate every single day on how can I build new skill set, skill set that is in demand that's going to help me change the world. New skill set. In getting skill set now, you're gonna need mentors. If you wanna shorten the learning curve, what you really wanna do, there's so much information, it's so vast on the internet, start reading books of people who become majorly successful in the arena that you wanna become successful in. So what's gonna happen? You're gonna acquire knowledge. And then with the knowledge, you start doing the things they say you're gonna acquire skill set, you know? People that have different courses, like me personally, I offer courses for people that wants to build businesses on the internet, how to get traffic, how to get leads. I'm a mentor to many different people online. I've helped thousands of people change their lives and really make money on the internet. So don't be afraid to build skill set. Get mentors, get programs. Like I said, I have different courses that helps and show people, this is the roadmap, this is how I did it. This is how you can do the same thing. Workshop, I host different events where people they would invest and come to the event for a couple of days and learn the strategies of different people, of myself, and books. There's so many different books you can read and you start building those skill set. Now, skill set happens in the trenches, you know? Bruce has said that I don't I don't fear a man who practice a thousand kicks, you know, a, a thousand different kicks one time, but I fear a man who practice one kick a thousand times. Because here's what's gonna happen. For you to strengthen your skills and have the skill set that is required for success to improve your financial life, to get f better financial results, you have to practice your skill set. So in the process of learning, gathering information, you want to go out there every single day and practice and practice and practice and practice so that you can become really good at what you did so well, there's nobody who can do it better than you, okay? Number three, to improve your financial results, you need to understand people. Once you have your skill set now, okay, you got the skills now, you can get traffic, you can get leads, or you can create certain things. You have a skill set that people need now. Now, 
you need to understand how can it impact people because understanding finances it has a direct relationship with people this is called the law of reciprocity you know you give and you take so it's all about giving what you have in order for you to receive. So if you want to improve your finances, you also want to see how can you give more. Ask yourself the question, how can you give more, be more, you know, because if you don't give more uh, to life, in return, you're not going to get more. So you always want to think about how can I grow from the level that I'm in? How can I give more? How can I impact more people? Because the more people that I can impact, like this channel, I want it to get to 100,000 people. If you haven't subscribed, share this with someone and subscribe because I want to impact over 100,000. And once I reach that goal, I want to set up a new goal. That's how you want to think. How can your skill set, how can it impact as many people as possible? So that's how you're going to be able to, to get to the next level. Okay, number four, understanding money money is value if you want to improve your finances if you don't understand what money is you still live in the illusion that is the paper money you will never grow to that level where you can get a lot of it in becoming fully financially stable first thing you must understand money is value let me ask you a question right i don't know if you read the bible or if you read any older books you know before the regular money that we use right now in most countries which is made out of paper which people say money doesn't grow on trees the trees behind me right but it is right the paper come from a tree right the paper they have to make the money is from the tree they have to made it out of the woods right so it has grown on tree if you technically understand it but let's go down deeper to the truly understand the true meaning of money when I understood that I didn't want to work for it anymore because Rich people, they don't work for money. Let that money work for them. So I didn't want to work for money anymore. So I wanted money to work for me because it's value. So how can I monetize on my value and bring as much as possible? See, money was value. Back in the days, in the old days, someone will trade something that's valuable to them to someone else that has something that was valuable to, to that person that was doing the trading. So let's say I was, uh, I was someone who was working the field. Um, I would give you rice because I, I cultivated rice and if you had a goat, if you had goat, you would exchange that because I needed meat. So you would give me goats for meat. So it's an exchange of value. So I'm exchanging something valuable. Now, as the years and generations start going back, it start taking different forms. It start taking different forms. So there was a time that people was exchanging it that way, but then you have in the transition to gold now. Money was gold because people wanted gold. They was exchanging gold for almost anything. But they get to the point where it was, how can I carry, like, let's say one gold was equal to $100. And if I wanted to carry $13,000, I would have to carry about 130 packs of golds in my pocket. And that's heavy. So how can I carry that? So as the generation gets smarter, they understand how life and currency works and the value to people and demand, they start changing it. Now it became paper money where it was, you know, I have the stacks of paper now. It's a $1 bill, a $100 bill, $200 bill. That's not real money. That's not real money. You can burn a $100 bill. It's not going to change your life. It's not real money. And it would be crazy if I burn a $100 bill in this video. Some people will call me foolish, but not understanding the true value of money. What you see, the physical aspect that you see is just, it's, it's really nothing. It's really nothing. It's just a way of them putting a number. How would you understand that it costs the same amount of money to print out a hundred dollar bill and a one dollar bill it doesn't cost more to print out a hundred dollar bill than it costs to print a one dollar bill but yet people have to work more time to acquire if you're working per hour they have to work more to acquire a hundred dollar bill versus a dollar bill they have to work a lot more time to acquire the hundred dollar bill but yet it doesn't take more time to print out the hundred dollar bill it doesn't take more money to print out it costs the same amount of money but yet they're exchanging that paper money but the value of the time they're exchanging for that money which is an illusion which is not real so if you understand that how can you increase your value now 
if your value increase guess what your money will increase in the marketplace so you can get as much as your value start increasing so you must understand the real understanding of money money is value the more valuable you become guess what the more your money will rise if you do something that can impact remember we talk about impacting people if you have something that can impact just your family guess what your money will only take care of your family now if you go and create something that can impact thousands of people guess what your money will increase a thousand fold I learned that principle from one of my mentor billionaire who's actually uh, he owns different hotels in Orlando his name is Rosen and I remember him giving his story when he created his first resort right his first hotel how he bought his first hotel he had received twenty thousand dollars and then from that money right he was just getting started having a family he could have bought himself a house for himself but yet he decided let me invest it into buying this motel right I can serve more people see a house you can build a house for yourself your family will sit comfortable but if you build a house that can serve thousands of people as their home guess what your value to those people will increase so you need to start thinking how can I build something that's gonna impact thousands of people instead of just myself and then now guess what your money your value will start increasing okay number five if you want to improve your financial results you need to understand you will not get rich by working rich people do not work for money you must let money work for you because time, you cannot exchange time freedom for anything. You know, you can always make more money, but you can never make more time. Yeah, you can make more money, but you can never make more time. So once you are able to build the skill set, you have the ambition, you learn the skill set, you learn how to get the people, whether to targeting, there's so many different ways. I'm not getting into the granular part of targeting people or building an audience, building people. Like right now, I have a YouTube channel, so I have access to thousands of you that will be watching these videos, right? And I understand the, the, the concept of money. So I'm doing, what I'm doing right now, I'm giving value to you in exchange, right? Value, it always, you know, prosecute at itself. It always come back a hundredfold because I'm giving is the law of giving and receiving it always come back a hundredfold and I understand that rich people doesn't work for money so therefore my work we get paid for the value we don't get paid for the money see it doesn't matter how long it takes someone to get the job done but what matter is the ultimate product is the finished product that's what you're gonna get paid for see as an entrepreneur and what we do if you want to increase if you want to increase your financial results you want to base your time on value this is it valuable to how many people can you be valuable and this my friend will change your life those are the five secrets that I've learned to take my financial results to the whole next level guys I hope you appreciate this video if you do give it a thumbs up give it a like let me know what you think that was your boy cater I'll see you on the next video check out my other video over here also click on my face to subscribe I'll see you guys later